Brand new 3D printers were announced during Coriality's 8th year anniversary livestream. Now you are wondering, is it worth the price or not? Well, I'm going to take a closer look on those 3D printers, getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary and welcome to this news and updates video about brand new 3D printers that Coriality announced during their 8th year anniversary live stream. Little disclaimer, all the pictures that I'm going to share in this news and updates are from Coriality 3D. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the video. Let's take a closer look on the Halot 1 Pro. You have also the Halot 1 Pro. Plus. The design looks very much different than we saw on the series from last year. The, the plastic top cover is in all red. You have two USB ports on the front side. The bottom one, the USB type B connector, is specifically made for connecting with your laptop, your PC. And the upper one, the USB type A connector for thumb drive, put it in there and then print from the USB flash drive. Details about this resin printer x y axis resolution is 2560 times 2400 3k resolution the x y accuracy is 0.05 one millimeters printing speed one till four seconds per layer the touchscreen this is a five inch lcd touchscreen so very nice the light source is an integral light source but with a wavelength of 405 nanometers the printing volume of this resin printer is 130 times 122 times 160 millimeters so the new features larger printing size just like mentioned 740 Four inches with a 3k monochrome LCD display so that's nice slicing software support Halot box Lise and C2 box I don't do so much resin printing on my channel yet I do have the resin printer standing behind me in a few weeks I'm going to do also a little bit more with resin printing as well dual linear guide rails for the z axis and t type screw for high stability in this machine the arm cortex m4 processor cpu and gpu 64 quad core wi-fi app control cloud Creality cloud app for monitor printing process adjust printing settings start stop prints built-in wi-fi allows one click upgrades to firmware operation multiple language selections that's always great there's a lot of 3d printers i have never seen dutch language being supported but anyways double heat dissipation a filter on the left side so that's great activated carbon filter if you're not familiar with creality cloud app i don't have the creality box so i'm not using this type of working with the creality app they have a model base and then you are going to slice it in the cloud and then you can do cloud printing so let's take a look at the Plus, this is a resin printer with 4K monochrome LCD screen. This this one is a little bit higher in price. The Halo 1 Pro is 300 US dollars. And for a little bit $40 more, you have a better resin printer. I do need to say that this one is then the better price. This one is with the blue cover. I like the blue color because, you know, it's blue. This is also a 5-inch LCD touchscreen. I think basically, in, in general, it looks identical with the other version the Halo 1 Pro resin printer so more powerful more user-friendly more intelligent so a more smarter resin printer so key features a 4 k 7.9 inch mono lcd screen self-developed integral light source like the other one as well high performance main boards z access with dual linear rails 5 inch hd touchscreen the resolution of this screen is 4320 times 2560 so this is a bigger screen so that's nice compared with a 2k mono lcd screen the volume of this resin printer is 172 times 102 times 160 millimeters that's great 90 percent and above evenness also this one has the ram cortex m4 processor 64-bit quad core cpu and gpu more use of friendly more enjoyable see what you print high slicing software just like the other one compatible compatible with halo box let's say and slicing with high efficiency air filtration for better print experience this one has a different kind of filtration system oh little thing here you have also a measuring gauge 
on the inside of the resin fab. That's cool. Easy leveling. Print right away. Three step leveling with a calibration cards. Improve success rate with good accuracy. Intelligent. Why is it more intelligent? It's all in your hands. But what they mean is when you have a app with this software on it. Nice. Has a free firmware update. Also like the other one. Pretty similar. Oh, via the Creality Cloud app. Or because of your printer is being connected with the internet, IOT, you can also do this via the printer itself. Nice. Application garage kit. What's what's that? I said earlier that from all the supported languages, I have never seen Dutch. I was mistaken. Check that out. Between Russian and Polish, Dutch. So Dutch is also supported language. Nice. We have the CR laser falcon engraver. Something that I really would like to, you know, check out because it's a laser engraver. Everybody like pew, pew, pew. I also am working now here currently on my Comgrow Robo CNC router laser engraver. It's looking nice. It's a big engraver. Can I call it printer? Can I? This one looks more bigger. You have more volume. It looks stylish because in general, what do you need if you want to engrave something? So up to 0.1 millimeter high precision, quick focusing, quick and accurate starting point location that's something very important protective to users health create artwork on multiple materials you have a 5 watt and a 10 watt power with this handle you can adjust it quick focusing time saving and easy to handle the focusing system is comprised of a fixed focus lens and focusing facilitator slide down the facilitator for fast focusing and apply once focusing is finished okay cool always spot on should be protective to use this health fan with washable cotton filter nice there is a cap or a protective uh, cover around it and there is a fan on the back side and they that one sucks all the fumes out. Nice. Create artwork on multiple materials. Graphic engraving modes. Contour, grayscale, black, white. Okay, let's let's say it differently. So for the flexible material, paper. Wow. Cotton, leather, and for the and fabric materials, uh, for the harder materials as wood, PVC, bamboo, acrylic, and plastic. Nice. I want to see how big it is. So the engraving area is 400 times 450 millimeters. That's cool. Engraving speed, 10,000 millimeters per minute. Why not per second? I'm going to calculate that. So this laser engraver engraves 166 millimeters per second. Now you know. And the light source of this laser engraver is semiconductor laser the prices of all the things i i mentioned like the creality halot 1 pro is 296 us dollars the halot 1 plus is 339.15 us dollars and the laser engraver or laser falcon engraver is 296 Point sixty five US dollars. I will put the link in the description of this video. If you are interested in buying this, I don't get any money of it. I'm just making some interesting video for you to watch and keep you updated. This video is supported by these amazing Patreon supporters. The Lightspeed, Fixum Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams, YJ, and a mystery Patreon supporter. Thank you for your support. If you're still watching, thank you. You are amazing. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And we will see each other next time. Peace. Bye-bye.